Good morning or afternoon, sixth graders. Uh, we are going to go through the directions for pages 58 through 59. So make sure you have your system 44 book ready. It is our first text of module three, game on, game on, says Miss Patty. So let's read, I'll read the learning targets to you. So you have, I can read an article two times to develop fluency and support comprehension. I can say evidence to support written analysis. I can determine the central idea and details of a text and provide an objective summary. So before I read the article to you, there are two words that you need to know. Okay, they're at the bottom. They're at the bottom of page 59. Okay. Uh, so you can see them. So at the bottom of page 59, once again, you have physics and collisions. Physics is the science that deals with energy, motion, and force, how things move. Obviously, when they talk about the angry birds, it's the birds, the physics behind the bird's motion through the air. Collisions is a noun. Crashes when moving objects smash into other objects. So it's that crash. Now you also might have collide or collide, something like that. Those are verbs. So a collision is an actual, it's a noun, it's a thing. So purpose for reading, let's find, uh, read to find out how science is used to design video games. Please follow along as I read silently. Be, silently. Be prepared to answer the comprehensions on page 58. So let me read to you. Oh, was I sharing? Oh, that's Miss Patty. So I'll just go through those real quick, just last time. I wasn't sure. I often forgot. So there's your learning targets, the two times, okay, the writing, which of course your writing is the central idea and the text based details, okay. And then there's the physics and collisions. So let's get to the reading. Ooh, oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, so page 58, science at play. Discover the science behind Angry Birds. Angry Birds is a popular video game. Players use a slingshot. They launch birds into the air. Sometimes, player, sometimes players aim well. Birds smash into a wall. They strike just the right spot. The force of the crash knocks down the wall. The wall crushes mean pigs. Page 59, sometimes players aim poorly. Then the wall stands, maybe the bird sails over it. Designers want to make games realistic and fun. That means they must understand the laws of physics. They make objects in games move like they would in real life. How high, fast, and far will each bird go? The answer depends on the laws of motion. Moving objects stay in motion until forces such as gravity stop them. How hard will the bird hit the wall? How hard will the how, will the fall? Sorry, blah, blah, blah. will the wall fall? Did the player aim well? The physics of collisions ex can explain. Okay. Now the questions on page fifty-eight to fifty-nine. Let me get my Elmo off and go over those. Okay. <clears throat> well, fifty-eight. I'm sorry, fifty-eight for now. So, what do designers oh. need to know? To make games realistic, you have your sentence frame here. You just need to finish it. Let me focus. Let me focus. There it goes. To make games realistic, designers need finish that uh, with a, state, a statement with text evidence with punctuation. Number two, how can physics make a bird's flight seem real? And there's your sentence frame to get you started. Three is vocabulary and language. So in paragraph two, you have the words strike. So strike means, and of course, strike was right down here. Okay. So make sure um, you use how they have it. Yeah, they, they strike just the right spot. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. 